Make some noise for your top eight finalists. The 2018 Overwatch World Cup begins right now. Take it away, Golden Boy. Welcome to the 28th. Best players in the world are here to represent their country. It is time guys, the World Cup is here. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the greatest highlights, recapping the match, giving my analysis. And in the first game, we have Team United States going up against the United Kingdom. We're starting it off on control. The very first map was Elios, and on that first round, Team USA would not budge. They absolutely dominated the United Kingdom. Team USA racked up a total of 24 kills on that first round, and guess how many kills United Kingdom got? Zero, guys. It was an absolute stop. Team UK had absolutely no chance to get anything going. Team USA was high flying. They were running the Doomfist Farah DPS combo and the United Kingdom just could not get anything going. Go ahead and take a look at some of these insane engages coming out from Sinatra and Farah play from Hydration. Over the uh, walls there, trying to pick up Hydration, but not able to do so. So they just switch over to triple tank, triple support, or uh, we like to call it Goats. Yeah, Goats is the nickname for it because the first team that played it was called Goats, but it hasn't worked very well here, Matt. The United Kingdom try and show up to the point with a very durable team composition. Heroes with a lot of health and punish them. Yeah, Hydration was one of the strongest bars in the Overwatch League, and now with the update where you're able to do even more damage with direct hits, you expect them to be even better. It's going to be a that barrage. That'll connect with two. Two from the barrage, but the damage has already been done. The United Kingdom are very low on personnel at this point. So as you guys can see, your Team UK, they decided decided to run the GOATS comp, but Team USA was expecting it and that Pharah really countered it. They would send Sinatra in on the Doomfist first, kind of just knock the tanks around, get Reinhardt and D.Va more focused on him, then Hydration would be in the back, hitting hard direct shots, getting two shots, three shots onto the supports, and it was just a clean wipe. But then we moved on to the second round, guys, and as we thought it might have been a stomp, Team UK battled back and Boombox specifically with four Trent sentences this round almost carried them the victory, but fell a little bit short. Let's take a look at some highlights. He might try and harass them or jump on Sinatra. He knows he'll get stunned quite often by the enemy Brigitte, but he's got such a big health format that he can sort of shrug it off. Yeah, and you already have Boombus with Transcendence. He'll use that. He does not get hit there by that EMP. He had to be around that other side of the wall. Really nice positioning there from Boombus. That is so key. When you know the enemy Sombra has that EMP, you have to hide his Zenyatta. You lose all those shields if you get hit by it. You're not able to use Transcendence. Perfect positioning there from Boomba. I mean, that's the sound barrier yes. is UK. The problem with that is that Mikey A wasn't affected by that one. He was too far away from the sound barrier and he was being chased down by Moomer at the time. Boombox now getting pressure down. They know he's a squishy target on that team, but Boom is removed. He was the man trying to get aggressive at Smex, so he's in a very clever self-destruct over the top. A one-for-one -one fight, though, is Cave. Kim has gone down. And Fusion is on point with Primal Rage. And Transcendence, again, there's going to be a heck of a lot for the UK to work with here. Uh, Fusion actually uses Primal Rage. He gets hacked, so he's not able to, to jump, get close to some of these targets. Just kind of isolate in the corner. This will be Sinatra using another rally. Second of this point as Team USA's time is getting close to ticking down. The UK are forced just a drip onto the point. It's not very convincing resistance from the Brits. But now the drop down will be from Fusions. He switched over to Wrecking Ball. A lot of health, a lot of mobility. But it's going to be tough for him to retake control of the point. And as soon as he leaves it, Matt 1 is done. So there it is, boys. UK, they bounced back in that second round, but it just wasn't enough because USA had the resurgence. 99 to 99. Boombox, as I said, he was rolling through four transcendences, but at the end of the day, Muma and Sinatra's aggression on that Winston and Brigida was too much for them to handle, and USA took the first map 2 to 0. Then we swapped over to King's Row, guys, and this is where this match got interesting because the least expecting thing happened. A first hold from Team UK. But we actually started off with Team USA defending first and they actually had a really good defense stopping Team UK at the end of second point and even spawn camping them multiple times. Touch around the rim it's all those little details with this composition that splits a great one from an average one and here's gonna be a big grab. UK is going nowhere. This is uh, not normal to see this kind of play ladies and gentlemen. The USA normally would be holding a lot further back on the map. They'd actually be allowing the UK to push and at least control the payload. But the USA are playing very aggressively for a defensive team here. But at the end of the day, again, this really didn't matter because Team UK fired back on their defense with the full 
first hold. And also their own version of the spawn camp. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those highlights where Team UK absolutely rolled over USA. USA this next fight, maybe just try and draw an ultimate out or two and then you have a better chance coming back. Graviton Surge being used and Cole Lessons from the back line. That's that Moira ultimate from Boombox here. But really, the damage just seems to be shrugged off by the incredible healing the USA are able to provide hydration. Defuse rally in that fight and now here comes the Graviton Surge. Self-destruct used in the middle of it. You can see quickly the United Kingdom back away from that explosion, though. They avoid getting taken down. Fusions, that's a big Earth Shadow, though. Much of the USA's roster are knocked to the ground. And Fusions, a very timely shield given to him by Mike Yezaya to keep the Reinhardt up for a couple more swings. Now, the UK are going to win this fight, yes. So the real big thing here for Team UK was that they always saved a counter for something that Team USA threw at them. If Team USA had a grab, Team UK, they used their beat. If Team USA had a shatter, then Team UK used their bubbles on the Reinhardt to save him. There was always a counter, and eventually this led to them just shoving them into their spawn and taking this map, tying up the series one to one. Absolutely vaporized. To grab eat their space. I guess Rockers isn't microwave safe after all, Matt. Mike Yeager gonna push forward now, and now the United Kingdom is starting to flex on the USA in much the same way, except they've pushed the USA back inside the original spawn. Mock trying to push forward, space goes deep and sets up a self-destruct. This could be nasty, but it's shielded off by the entirety of the UK. Hydration trying to push forward on that Brigitte, but he's lacking support and out of fusion. Turns his face towards it. That's it. And on their home ground, ostensibly, on King's Road, the UK show up. There it is, boys. We have a match. UK tying up the series. And now we move on to 2CP. The map is Volskaya Industries. And we get hit with another surprise. This time, it wasn't a first hold. But Team UK manages to find a way to defeat USA and take a 2-1 series lead, guys. It was so damn close. Back and forth. Let's show some highlights. One support in there, tank. That you've done your job if you're Zachary. Gets kind of low, so has to hide out here. He did a good job actually revealing him and sort of yeah, putting the nasty spot. No more Sombra available now for the USA. Rook is pushing forward with the Transcendence now. Good timing. The Dragon Strike was going to do a lot of damage. Take a big bite out of the USA. But the damage seems to have already been done. Fusions have a Primal Rage now, but he wants to try and hunt down Moomer a little bit more. The Discord Orb applied by Boombox, making that damage stick that much harder. And now the UK have two ticks on the point. USA have to push in very quickly to try and stop this from happening, but the UK just fight onto that point. small space. Smets knocked down there. Zachary on the Doom just to mid but he's taken down. Cruz removes him with the boot and that will be the UK finishing Voskaya here is the brave man to step up for Geronimo he says but he exits almost as quickly as he enters Sinatra's taking low space oh, he's done it again oh first it was in the group stage and now it's here but will it be enough to get the USA out of trouble Mike Ye on the point getting daxed into by Zachary the Dragon Blade coming out now the Virginia are one kid and Moomer helps out Smex is being forced away he will eventually be removed from this fight and somehow the Hail Mary self-destruct for space once again finds the mark and the UK are barely going to get back to the point in time. Unbelievable stuff. Now we can check this out from Space's POV. Is we are in overtime in the actual game. You can see that in the bottom right, but Space, oh man, Beautiful. everybody lined up in that alleyway. There's nowhere they could go. They've got a sound barrier here for Moth, but Boombox has that transcendence. The UK have made a few hero switches, so they're obviously reset on ultimate uh, percentage on Kib and Mikey A. Sinatra, I mean, a good mind, uh, minefield over on the point, could set things up quite nicely. They're trying to isolate Smex here, who's getting killed by that uh, Orb of Harmony. He needs a little bit more help, but Zachary's down early. Mikey picks him off for the Brigida. And that was big because they were trying to build up that Dragon Blade, potentially get that Nano Blade going. It'll be a self destruct from space. You connect with Smex in the back. Yeah, Sinatra now uses the minefield, creating a bunch of space and the transcendence comes in from boombox over the point here trying to keep his team alive against the grenades and the extra damage but fusions jumps on Moomer comfortably enough fusions gives up his life to get rid of the enemy winston the uk have been given time here time to react time to regroup time to set up sinatra knocked back there by mike yeah who's defending staunchly his supports in the back line but zachary's found some x once again now it's time for the dragon blade it's now on ever he's going in kim's found two zachary's removed though cruz who used to be a genji main knows just how to deal with that kind of stuff now it's a last chance for the USA. Desperately, they throw themselves at the point. But Moomer is removed. Orb of Discord so powerful here. And Boombox is channeling that Zenyatta prowess so well. EMP just to finish the job. And Raucus has caught on that one. Nothing he can do about it. And the three Lions take it two to one. They lead the series now against the absolute favorites of this tournament, Matt.
And as Uber said, Team UK is somehow ahead of the tournament favorites USA. They're using a wide variety of comps, but they always somehow find to put a Bridget in there while either Kib or Mikey A play Sombra, Hanzo, Trace, or Widowmaker, whatever it is, this comp that they're running has been working. And moving on into this last map, Team USA must fight back or they're going to be losing to Team UK. And this will be one of the biggest upsets of the tournament. And we started off with Team UK on the attack and oh my god guys they flew through it route 66 was looking to be an absolute stomp by the united kingdom roster they finished route 66 with a unprecedented two minutes and four seconds one of the hardest maps to attack and have time left on guys let's go ahead and take a look at this incredible push this looks fairly standard right yep. i like this in the honor here for the united kingdom the usa are all about big bulky heroes with large health pools and that discord orb is going to be instrumental in cutting them down to size, obviously giving your team extra damage on that particular target. Now moving a little bit low here, and these teams have actually swapped places essentially. The UK are trying to put the USA into like a, you know, a bit of a scenario where they can make a concave around them. That's the first pick. Muma going down, the right heart being missing for the USA is very bad news indeed for them. And for me, the, the difference here in these compositions, Mitch is, I uh, you know the Brigitte for me is huge for the UK. Because with Team USA's comp, especially in this counter pick type of gameplay, right? Where they, I think the both of us were with Fusion when we watched uh, UK the other day. Just his calling was so strong as see more <laughs> center coming down here. Fusion's knocked down a few players and you know, UK continue to move this payload. So see what Team USA will answer back. They, they do need some massive changes. Rockets, yep, oh. yeah, gonna live too long there. So, so uh, USA, uh, Yushin's doing a great job here on offense, and he's going to take Zachary out first. That's it, the double decker fast from the UK doesn't stop. Kip forging ahead, couple extra hits, gave him that rally ultimate, and he used it straight away. So much durability on the UK, they've got mobility to boot, and now the Transcendent's being brought in by Boombox, it's just going to be space. Heads up on the payload, Mop trying to join, but he's earth shattered before he can even get there. Now Zachary just trying to keep it contested, but he's sucked into a Graviton surge. Fusion's fights too, self-destruct, Sinatra can't get there. And that is an incredibly fast completion route for Route 66. 66 standards, Matt. And after that attack, guys, USA backs against the wall, knew they needed to have a great attack, but unfortunately, they ran into the wall that was Fusions, and this guy popped off on Reinhardt, carrying Team UK all the way to the semifinals. Go ahead and witness the last play of the match, guys. 22 seconds left in the tournament life, potentially, for the United States of America, and they seem to have very little left in the tank. Two support ults available here for the United Kingdom. Cruz and Boombox are ready. You play aggressive. You get both support ults. You're going to have Shatter with the way Fusions has been nailing these Shatters. You get right up in their face. That's going to be Sinatra down. And you have this Shatter coming into play for Fusions. Let's see how he uses it. That's it. Fusions putting the hammer at Hammersmith. And now he's going to bring it down one more time. And there it is. If there was any time, it was right there. And the United Kingdom complete the upset we never thought we'd see. It's game one, game one. And the USA are out the Overwatch World Cup. And a perfect way to end it there. I, I feel like Fusions, you know, we talked about him as a leader, a vocal leader through this UK team. Comes up with another big shatter at the end. Get this, 16 kills off of his shatters here. 15 final blows as Reinhardt, pretty good. You expect a lot of final blows though when you're playing the Reinhardt in those close compositions. And there it is, guys. Congratulations to Team UK. They deserve this victory. They caught all of us off guard. I can't wait to see them in the semifinals. If you guys want to stay updated with all the match recaps from this World Cup, be sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video. I'll be posting all the matches. I'm out of here, guys. See you in the next one.